This is Michael Shermer, publisher for Skeptic Magazine, monthly columnist at Scientific American, presidential fellow of Chapman University. Probably a really boring guy. Probably has really boring tweets. Like, science is universal, international, inclusive, non-partisan, apolitical, agender, a race, a ideological. Don't inject identity politics. Whew, that was a mistake. <laughs> um, no. The scientific method starts from the necessity of imposing mathematical, instrumental rationality on the universe. Science was never intended to provide knowledge of the world, but rather impose a particular perspective on the universe. So, is Farrell Fawcett here a science denialist? Someday a real scum will come and wash all the rain off the streets. Amoral, wild, furious, and warlike. Anarchist, Luddite. That's pretty much what I was expecting. That would turn it into a machine useful for the ruling class. Yes, I'm sure you think that, you filthy fucking commie. Listen, you... the industrial system is proof of the success of science at carrying out this task, but not the truth of its worldview. Fucking hell. Listen, you ideologue. Science is the means by which we explain the universe in repeatable, testable ways that we can be as certain of anything is objectively true. It is not actually an agenda-driven ideological push to enslave the working class. You are ascribing motive where none exists. You, I mean, the, science has been made by so... like the, 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 the sum contribution of science that we have now is the work of so many hands, of so many different ideologies, of so many different time periods, for so, from so many different people with so many different agendas. It is stupid beyond all reason to try and ascribe a single overarching ideology to it. it. This is just the stupidest motherfucking thing in the world. Bacon made it clear that science was not an attempt to understand nature, but to dominate it, to twist it to ruler's ends. Yeah, okay, that was his opinion. That wasn't everyone's opinion. Marie Curie wasn't saying the same thing. Einstein wasn't saying the same thing. Science is its a method of inquiry, you dummy. Have you considered how science played a role in the development of nukes, uh, military tech, eugenics, genocide, and so on? And that's all science has ever done. It's never done anything beneficial for mankind. It's only developed nukes, military tech, eugenics, genocides, and so on. Even though... It's, Genocide isn't necessary for science. Eugenics isn't necessary for science. Uh, with science, it's not necessary. The, genocides, eugenics, and military tech have been happening for millennia, long before the advent of anything that we would consider to be scientific. The digitalization of life and of the universe has the has the express purpose of breaking everything down into interchangeable bits. It's not postmodernism, princess. That can be manipulated and adjusted by those trained in techniques in order to meet the specifics of the ruling order. That is the most paranoid thing I've ever heard in my life. Absolute lunacy. And yet 50, 80 people are liking these tweets. Total nonsense. It's just not true. It's just not true. It doesn't matter that it's not true. And so, do you even science, bro? Science and Tech video series producer at TED Talks. Oh, really? Formerly of Reddit and BuzzFeed. Oh, my God. Fucking course. Verified with a thousand followers. Oh, so that's why white men kept women and people of colour out of university for universities for centuries, huh? That's so racist. How are you fucking this stupid? I mean, do you even know anything about the history of higher learning? Do you know what kind of intellectual renaissance happened in Baghdad? Do you know where writing was invented? Do you know they had schools? I mean, they didn't call them universities, because that's a European concept. But they had various institutions of higher learning in these l realms. I mean, most religious teaching was really education. <laughs> Just, like, proper education. The, the best you were going to get. Philosophy, reasoning, all of these things. The, the people in these, the brown people also had these things because, believe it or not, Paul Engelhard, they are not Untermensch. If that were true, hiring, promotion, tenure, citation, publication, conferences would mirror population demographics. Why would that be true? Why would? Why the fuck would you think that would be true? Why would... It, 
in a free society, you would not expect to see equal amounts of different, if, if all the different people represented in equal ways in everything. That's a ridiculous thing. That's the sort of thing a fucking communist would think. Preferred pronouns, she, her. I'm not saying that she's a communist, but... Get in the fucking helicopter, Meredith. <laughs> you realise you're literally spouting dogma here, right? Shit, dude. Paul. Go and read the anarchist's fucking screed up there. Go and read it, you fucking lunatic. Isn't that what you're doing, inserting your identity politics? No. You're a fucking idiot. What do you mean by identity politics? He means civil rights! No, he doesn't. He's also confusing the scientific method with science. No, you are doing that. He has one tweet. 140 characters. It's obvious that he means the scientific method. Even an uncharitable interpretation should probably presume that. But, of course, you've, I mean, you don't even have an uncharitable one. You've got an interpretation that he is basically Hitler. Science is none of those things unless we work to make it so. Precisely by considering identity politics. Well, I mean, if we don't inject identity politics in science, then science will be full of identity politics. Brilliant philosophy you have there, Emily. Coming from a well-to-do white guy, that statement means less than nothing. Uh, Mark, I believe you are a fucking white male, so why don't you try shutting your mouth because you are white? Finally, someone saying something sane. The scientific method itself might be those things. Yes, it is. That's the point. But the humans doing science certainly aren't. No, they're not. It doesn't matter if they're not. The scientific method is the scientific method. If you are following it, you are following it. If you are not, then you are not. And yes, there may well be people who don't cite other people because of their own bigotry, but how many of them do you think there are? I mean, judging by these replies... Maybe there are a lot of them. You all seem to be the sort of bigots who'd be like, well, that was written by a white man. I'm not fucking citing that. Even though, I mean, what kind of person would do that? What kind of person would give a shit who the author of a study was? Why wouldn't they care about the fucking conclusions of the study? And the ones who make statements like this are invariably white males. Usually white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Yeah, the worst kind of white male. Yes, these are the people who are literally trying to hold science to its highest ideal. But this isn't true. Look at medical research. Primarily done on men historically, which means women's diseases lack. Really? Are you sure? I mean, I would need to see some studies. I would need to see some data. But you haven't got any. You've given me one example. Look at endometriosis. Do you think that if a disease affected so many men with such symptoms, it would be as unresearched? Um, Yeah actually. I mean, you can look at, say, the funding for breast cancer and prostate cancer, which you can effectively say are gendered diseases. Not quite the same, is it? I wonder why. I wonder if it's men happen to be kind of gynocentric, they see it as their responsibility to look after women, maybe, but no, you've got an agenda. We won't worry about those things. This is all about endometriosis, the one thing you're going to talk about, and you're going to ignore anything that contradicts this. Even though something like 75% of men, when they're di well, after they die of old age, had a form of prostate cancer. Undiagnosed. Just nobody cares. You would think, because it's affecting men, and so many men are bothered by this, or, you know, may well contribute to their deaths, you might think that men would be more interested. But they're not. The scientific method does not equal science or scientists. Women leave STEM due to sexual harassment, not apolitical, asexual. Well, that's not the fault of the scientific method, is it? Which is what he is referring to. Which is what none of you seem to be able to grasp on your own. I'm sure the surviving family members of the Tuskegee experiments wholly disagree with you. Government policy is not the scientific method. What they choose to research is not the scientific method. I just can't even. He's talking about how we pass truth from falsehoods. Okay? He's, he, that's what he's talking about. He is not talking <laughs> about your personal agendas. He's not talking about historical people's personal agendas. And yes, there are people in science. For the love of God, there are definitely people in science with these personal agendas who can't separate that from their work. I mean, if that's what I'm taking from these responses. All of these people seem to be condemning themselves, saying, no, look, I can't do that. Oh, thank God, look, someone, someone is sane. 
This is not always true. That's fine. Yes, he knows. He knows it's not always true. I promise you, if you ask him, he knows it's not true. Science can be manipulated depending on who's funding the research. That's right. But he is, he is propositioning the highest ideal of science. That's what he's trying to do. All of these absolutely insane fucking responses are totally over the top. And, I mean, it's embarrassing to watch this. I, I would just... I would love to sit down and have a conversation about philosophy with these people. It's, it's, it's very interesting how people who are very knowledgeable in one field often lack all knowledge in another. But because they're knowledgeable in one field, they don't realise that they lack knowledge in the other. They just presume that they have some sort of authority in every other one, which is very rarely true. Finally, the, the intelligent ones. It should be, but in practice that's not always the case. That's right. That's true, and I'm sure he knows that too. <laughs> Based on my knowledge of history, I'd say colonizing is inherently deeply political. Okay, but what's that got to do with the description of the scientific method and the intent behind the scientific method? How do you recon reconcile be science being apolitical whilst also having a serious discussion about colonizing another planet? Do you think there are aliens there? Do you think that the Martians are going to be like, well, I mean, you've just invaded our nice red rock, and you've ruined the place up with human beings. This is oppression. You are evil colonizers. It's an empty fucking planet. What could possibly be the politics of colonizing Mars, if not between the politics on Earth? And even then, that's not to do with the scientific method, is it? The science of colonizing Mars is going to be the same, regardless of the person colonizing Mars. Fucking hell. It's embarrassing to watch who I, a, a bunch of people who I'm sure are intelligent people deliberately misinterpreting what he's saying. Or at least what he's trying to say. Totally uncharitable, most of them. So many people are confusing science with the personal practices of scientists. The two are not the same. Fucking have a like, my friend.